Up until this week, I was, I've been the head of music here at uh, Sorella McNabb. Um, thank you all for coming out this evening. Um, all of our musicians, dancers, artists appreciate your support. Um, without an audience, this would just be another rehearsal. Um, there's a special kind of electricity in, on this, this stage when you know that someone out there, uh, your family, is watching, listening, and cheering you on. Um, I heard a great quote this morning on the CBC about uh, school concerts. Uh, Michael Enright said that all of the negativity in the world is sucked out of the room uh, when you watch your child on stage. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite uh, jazz musicians, uh, jazz art drummers, uh, Art Blakey, once said that music shakes the dust from everyday life. Um, and I think you've seen some of that here tonight. My greatest hope um, is that over the 15 years that I've been uh, teaching here at McNabb, students have seen the music room as a place to escape all of the other stressors in their lives. Um, I've been very proud of the, what students have been able to accomplish in that time. Uh, in that 15 years, I've seen this, uh, this music department grow from a small group of uh, small class of uh, six band classes to 18 classes now, including guitar, keyboard, vocals, musical theater, and dance as well. Um, you know when your, your baby is 15 years old and they go out into the world for the first time? Sorry. Um, you know when your baby is 15 years old and they go out into the world for the first time without you? Um, you're hoping that they'll do well um, and that others will care for them as much as you have. Um, you hope that they'll do good, uh, good to others and that uh, others will love them and uh, believe in them as much as you have. Well, that's how I feel about the music program here at McNabb. Um, the, this program has been my baby for the last, uh, since 2001. Um, and this week, I stepped down as head of the music department in order to, to pursue uh, um, my, my efforts with the special ed department. Um, and I leave the department in the very capable hands of five fantastic, passionate teachers. Mr. Sibidino, Mrs. Mrs. Kenish, Mrs. Robinson, and Mrs. Reese. And they'll be led by the very capable, knowledgeable, my very capable and knowledgeable colleague, Mrs. Brinson. I know that students for generations will come to love music and will learn to share the, shake the dust uh, from everyday life uh, because of these dedicated musicians, as well as the ones you've seen up here on uh, stage tonight. Who knows, in a few years, one of these musicians may be here on stage conducting the McNabb Band um, and influencing the next generation of musicians. Thank you very much for coming out this evening. I, leave, I turn it over to the band for the, the final number. Thank you. Mr. Nickel, that was our final number. <laughs> it's okay, he didn't know. Um, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for coming. Um, I also want to shamelessly plug an event that we have coming up uh, throughout the arts here at McNabb. Um, it's called the Snowball, and it's been a tradition here since the beginning of the school, which is, yeah, 45 years apparently. Mr. Nichols, if you can remember. Um, we uh, are providing this as a dinner dance kind of to end off the semester to kind of say Merry Christmas to everybody, have a fun time for the kids. Um, at, we're going to hold it over at Chinook Presbyterian Church. Um, and it's going to cost $25 a person. That's everything in meals, dance, DJ, all that kind of thing. So I'm shamelessly plugging this. We need to sell tickets. And um, you can send your money with your kid, and they can come and find me. But anyway, thank you very much for coming, and uh, have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.